Hey guys, this is Echo Soundrix, and you are checking out a silent tutorial on ADSR sound. So, two things to get out of the way before we get into the tutorial. I get asked these questions a lot. The DAW you are looking at is Logic X with a Pro Tools theme. Uh, this version of Silent is not a new version of Silent, it, as well as my Logic just has a theme or a skin that you can download from the interweb. All right, so uh, what we're gonna be looking at in this video is how to make Silent velocity sensitive. So by default, it's not a velocity sensitive synth. You have to do some modulation typically. So we're gonna take a uh, sound that I have already made. Sounds like this. <laughs> So it does not matter how hard I hit a note, the sound will just remain the same so I can hit it really light or hard, it does not matter. And we're gonna change that. So it's really easy to do. You just have to use some miscellaneous modulation destinations. So the first thing you need to do is uh, kind of think about the context of your sound. Not every sounds, you're not every sound you're gonna modulate into with the velocity um, with the velocity control into the same part of the synth. It's kind of, that's dependent on the actual sound. So with this specific sound, I'm thinking the cutoff filter is gonna be important. Maybe I want that to open up more or maybe less depending on the velocity and obviously the volume. But you could also do things uh, with the velocity. If you choose velocity, you could choose any of these different sections. So maybe the resonance, you have like a resonance type bass. Maybe that's the big part of the sound. You'd then wanna modulate into that. Or if you have a, uh, you know, LFO or it's a wobble type synth, maybe you'd want to go into the LFO gain as opposed to these two destinations that we're looking at. But this is just the general way to do it. So select velocity, which is the source, and then we're going to select volume A and B. So what we need to do now, though, is if we turn up the, the knob here to 10, uh, I'm hitting my key soft. Now I'm hitting it really hard. There's no change in volume. That's because the volume from the oscillators are overriding our modulation. So what you need to do is turn down the volume in the actual oscillator tabs themselves and make sure you have them down pretty low, kind of keep the ratio the same to what they were previously if you want to keep the sound the exact same. And then make sure that this volume is up all the way. So now you see that difference in volume. Right, so that's that's helping. Um, you can also, if you need even more volume, you can go into your mix A and B. Or for this sound, let's just do mix A because the noise is on the B oscillator. Right, so it's getting louder as I play it. So here's a soft chord, loud chord. All right, so that's uh, that's the first thing you want to do is go into your velocity and then. The, the filter is going to be important for this sound, so we're going to choose velocity again for our second source, tur turn up this knob, and we're going to choose cutoff A and B. So I'm going to turn down, I'm going to turn the cutoff frequencies down for both part A and part B. All right, so now we have a really cool velocity sensitive sound. All right, so it's clipping a little. Sorry about that. But um, just wanted to show you that if you bang the keys really hard, we've opened up the velocity to control how much velocity you hear. Just turn these knobs down on the source and it won't go up as loud. There you go, guys. There you go, guys. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for checking this tutorial out. I'll see you next time.